I'm not trying to roast this team. I'm trying to be fair here. And yes, I do not like the Lakers. I hate this team. But I'm going to take all that hate out and just try to keep it. No, not try. I'm going to keep it real here. Because I need answers for this. I really, I really, really need answers. Is there any Eastern Conference team right now that's getting this much hype for a seventh seed? Somebody please name me one team in the past history. Not even, what year was that Kobe retired? Remember Kobe retired? Kobe retired 2016. The year before Brian came there, was anybody talking about the Lakers? No playing in, obviously, I understand that. But has any other 7th, 8th seed? Hell, was my 2011 Sixers, who was a 7th seed that played the Heat in the first round, did we get that much hype? I don't, I don't remember getting that much hype. I don't remember that much 7th seed. Did the Atlanta Hawks last year get that much hype, even though they went to the conference finals the year before? And they were 8th seed? Hell, is the Hawks then the Heat now on the East Coast? Uh, Eastern Conference right now getting this much hype for a seventh seed? Why are they hyping up a seventh seed? Only people that believe is some of the Lakers fans, a million of the Brown Guzzlers, and that's it. Everybody want to believe this team is good enough to win. Who are they going to beat? Who? People say the Nuggets, but the Nuggets is probably peaking right now. And even as a Lakers fan, yeah, they probably had their number a little bit sometime this year. I, I, I agree with that. But that's not really a team I want to like, you know. The only team I feel like they should attack is the Kings. So they probably want to get that, that six seed. Because I really wouldn't want to face them in a seven. I mean, it's different when you're playing one game and then you see them a couple weeks later or a couple months later, you play them again. Although you do win and that is a little bit of a tell of the tape. You know, when you look at everything overall, just like the 07 um, playoffs when the Warriors, uh, they didn't play them three. They, didn't, they played them only three times that year, but they beat the Mavs all three times that year. So that definitely lets you know, like, they had a matchup problem with them. But this was back when you will see the same lineups pretty much every time unless it was a major injury. Now, you're seeing different lineups. I don't even think Joker played in one game. I don't think... LeBron played one game just like when they went against the Warriors. I mean, not the Warriors, uh, the Grizzlies and whatnot. So, I don't think using the series now in this era of basketball as a, a blueprint on if you, you know, if you had that same amount of success in the playoffs if you run into that team because of those reasons. Because a lot of soft management, I'm not calling it load management, soft management, a lot of different things like that. So, um, I really don't see this. Uh, yeah, the, the hype for this team got to go. It's not – they're not a good team, dog. They're, they're not a good team. <laughs> they got to <laughs> – one, one push or one slip in the shower from one of these guys. <laughs> they're going to be hurt, and that's going to be it. What you got to rely on these two? Reeves and, and, and D'Angelo shooting for 40% Russell. I doubt it, man. Uh Always good to see the Lakers in the playoffs, so I will admit that it's always hype when Brown is in the playoffs too as well. So I personally do want to see them in the playoffs. So um, I, even though I don't like the team, I like, you know, you know the play-in is actually fire. I love the play-in idea. I'm hearing about this the, the, the built-in tournament that I'm reading. I'll probably do a video on that. But, yeah, they're not going to wear first-round exit. If they get stuck with uh, – they, they better went out too. If they get stuck with the eighth, ninth – Oh, not eighth, but they get stuck with the ninth and tenth. <laughs> you only got one chance. <laughs> yeah, so them getting the seven seed, which looks pretty possible. They do got a friendly record. Um, competition coming. Up, although the Jazz beat them twice, and they got to face them two more times. But that was earlier in the season when they had Westbrook. Uh, probably be different now, but you know, Bron AD was there, so I don't think that's going to change too much having these players. But we'll see. And they also playing for a playoff spot. The Utah Jazz. We'll see, man. Um, yeah, man. Follow Twitter. Like. Like I said, I'm working on that uh first script. So if you guys want to see that video, man, it's gonna it's gonna take some editing, but you guys bear with me. And uh when I put that thing out, just hit that uh, notification bell. You know what I mean? Holla at your boy.